a boy and his father set out on an unlikely adventure to gain glory while keeping their guts. Today, that father is John, and that son is Jimmy. Next summer, join them for the classic comedy that is Shut Up Jimmy, I'm Teaching You How to Be a Man. Based on a true story, John is the father of Jimmy, who loves him, but John hates him. Alright, that's a lie. I don't hate my son. He just can be a bit of a crybaby sometimes. Like just now. Anywho, welcome back everyone to Guts and Glory. Today we're going to be trying to get up on this rooftop. That is not going well. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to get it. Okay, I feel like we just kind of need to, uh, we just kind of need to level out, you know, after we get down this hill, we just kind of need to level out a little bit to the right. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Jimmy, did you see that? Nope, nope, you didn't, because you are dead. See you, dead weight. <laughs> yeah! For the glory. Magnificent. 1,082. I will take it. Whew, we're off to a great start. High Octane here. Bonus challenge one. Can you make it through this short but deadly challenge? Of course I can. They don't call me John for nothing. Because that's not my name. And my middle name is not four, and my last name is... Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. When they said challenging, they meant it. Okay, here we go. Wait, do I just go straight? Okay, alright, so we got blades right there. That's fine. So if we boost, and then we start spinning. Am I still on? Kind of. Eject! Nothing. Okay, so we need to get, pick up enough speed... So when we go up here, we can spin. Hey yo! Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're not good. And boost! Nope. Okay, we gotta take this a little bit smarter, a little bit smarter. Okay, you go, I go, you go, I go, we boost. And we check back in for cocktails. Oh, hey. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 yeah! May glory shine upon you. You're too kind, sir. Is that it? Did we get the glory? Are we victorious? Gloriously victorious? <clears throat> barrels. Why did it have to be barrels? You know, Earl, you're a good guy. I like you. But we're going with the Yang family. <clears throat> And uh, to be completely respectful of all cultures, I will refrain from making stereotypical accents as I have this family to speak. Or would that be culturally insensitive? Oh, 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 we missed one. Would that be culturally insensitive to uh, essentially silence someone's accent? I mean, if they are the Yangs, then they would have an accent. Well, this is good. This is good. Wow, we made it. Okay. Good job, Mr. Yang. Break the barrels. That did not break like I thought it would. Here we go. Oh, hello! Well... Honey, not now. Our daughter's in the back. Wake up! Uh, mommy? Mommy? Mommy, are you okay? Well, now she's dead too. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. Everything's good. And now I bail! <laughs> oh, I am sorry, Mr. Yang. We're good. Ooh, homewrecker. <laughs> you want to see homewrecker? Let's go with Zoe. She looks like a homewrecker. <laughs> see ya, Gerald! Wow. Oh. I gotta be in that one now? Well, that's gonna go well. Okay, here, let's let's crash a little bit and restart that one. Okay, so we're gonna go through here. Take out Gerald's window. 
try and get over to this cabin, which is not working so well. All right, Gerald, you're gonna wanna move. Oh boy. To the right, to the left. Why can I not get my directions? Oh, hey, we're fine. I am so sorry. Hey, I'm still fine. So sorry about your home and your watermelons. Oh boy. Oh, window! How am I still alive? I mean, my left arm is completely destroyed. Through my back, apparently. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay, now we're dead. Now we're dead. That makes more sense. Okay, through the window. Through the window! Through the wall! To the right, to the right. Right, right, right. Is that Tina? Huh! Same noise I would make. Oh boy, they are not happy. They have set up harpoons and they are trying to kill me. They are out for blood. Ooh. How did I miss that one? Bring it around, Zoe. Bring it around. Oh yeah! Nope. Didn't land it. Okay, that's fine. Sorry about your TV. Oh, hey. And sorry about your... And sorry about your TV. What? Okay. Okay, maybe I shouldn't smash the TV. Nope, something bad happened there. Okay, you run that way, I'll run this way. Alright, either they're out to get me. Yep, they're out to get me. No, 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 no. You already got my right arm. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Why aren't you turning? Turn faster. Whew. Well, done, Zoe. And for glory! You are greatness incars incarnate. Incarcerate. I am greatness incarcerate. Didn't you know the great greatness incarcerate? Ooh. Run for cover. Oh. Hola. Uh. El Toro D. Whoa. Hey, yo. Wow. Well, guys, this is where I'm going to have to drop you off. Uh, good luck. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't shoot me. That's not nice. Oh, hey. Wait, I missed something? Oh, hey. Well, don't worry. I got one package left. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We got one package. You know We're just going to restart this. Hey, S.A. You're back. Okay. Okay, let's not get shot. Let's bring it around. Oh, there's that one. Okay, you know what? Uh, that was my bad. Um, I am... Okay, so I can flip that way, not the other way. Just, just... Get me back on my feet! Why? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Here we go, again. Got all our money, got all our drugs. I feel like that... It's offensive. Okay. This is fine. We're good. He's just, just sleep it off. Sleep it off in the back. Okay, bye! Run for cover, run for cover. Oh, that makes more sense. Run for cover. Oh. Arriba, arriba. Let's go. They never saw it coming. Didn't stand a chance. What do we got? We got one, we got one left. Okay, one left. We're fine. We're gonna make the delivery on time and He's gonna be happy. We're gonna have a happy customer. We'll have a. We'll, our business will be booming. Dive! Oh my gosh. I was driving with zero legs and one arm. Not bad. Not. I, I would say that. That's talent. That is talent right there. Mud run. There are a few things that fill a redneck's heart with joy, like playing in the mud. How fast can you clear this slippery course? Well, I mean, it sounds like it was designed for good old Earl here. So let's get him a helmet. It sounds like he's gonna need it. And let's be off. Here we go. Wait a minute. Can I? Nope. I cannot. Uh, can't really lean either way. So I just have to follow this way. Oh, oh, oh! I forgot how sensitive this thing is. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. It's good practice. 
here we go. <clears throat> so apparently the A and D keys, while on some other characters... <gasps> wow, I do not like that slope. It's like slope to the right, so it kind of uh, makes it difficult to turn to the left. Yeah, so I go that way. I try and turn to the left. Ah. Okay, that's fine. We got this. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, uh, the other characters that uh, if you press like A or W, it kind of does something. Like, leans you to the left to the right. Uh, not so much with her. There's, there's not really any of that going on. This is fine. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we're good. Always wear a seatbelt, kids. That's that's the moral of this story. Always wear a seatbelt. Okay. And I know on ATVs there's not seatbelts, but... Jeez! I cannot make that left turn. Is this really muddy? It just kind of looks dirty. Ooh. Alright, we're down one arm. That's fine. Still control everything just as well. Earl! Earl! He's fine. He can just walk it off. He's got a helmet. Uh, that, that, that's the message I want to send to all the children out there. Um, when you can't wear a seatbelt, wear a helmet. That's... If there's anything you should be taking from this, I mean, besides if, you know, if there's a mud pile with a bunch of spinning traps and spikes, don't play in it. But besides that, oh, come on, he had a helmet on, he should be fine. Ah, uh, but yeah, so besides that, if, if you find a mud pit with a bunch of spikes and spinning traps, don't play in it. But if you do have to be driving through anything like this, wear a helmet. Obviously, as you can see, it does your world of good. On the bright side, the music is very capturing of everything this level encapsulates. Go back for it, or just restart. Dar, dar. Sounds like every redneck I've ever known. Dar, dar. Oh boy! Okay, come on. You can finish this level. We got this. Yes, yes, no, no. <coughs> wow. He sticks really well to those things. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see myself get impaled again. This is like a nightmare. Could you imagine if... Oh, could you imagine if you had a nightmare like this? Just driving along, and every time you die in your dream, you, like, come back to life just to try and die again. Try to live, but die every time. Tragic. Ooh. Okay, why do I keep losing my leg right there? It's not fair. Okay, I need to slow down there so that I don't go too high in the air, so that I have time to slow down and make a left. Makes sense. Ooh. Okay, slow down. To the left. To the left. I guess that's where the whole mud pit aspect is coming into play. You, uh... You can only turn so fast. Okay. Oh, it's arrows! There's arrows there! That makes 100% more sense. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah! Gerald, did you see that? I made it. 24-45. That, I would say, is a fantastic ending to this episode. Oh hey, it's Steam. Redneck Robin. This is a big good one to play. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If not, then... I... I'm sorry you had to sit through this. But, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.